Right, hello people, it's my last day before the Christmas holiday ends and I'm feeling depressed because I can't be asked to go back to school, I just don't see a point. But I thought I'd do a really arseful tutorial by like loads of people and also one that isn't actually on YouTube yet. It has to do proper ramp slow-mo, not cutting up the clips, proper ramp slow-mo in Final Cut Pro 7. Bear in mind, you can only do this effect in Final Cut Pro 7. You can't do it in any other earlier versions or Final Cut Express. Try and remember that. Okay, so what you want to do is get your clip. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so this is kit clip, nose grind, switch 5 and a blunt. So it's a good clip to start off with, so let's just cut up the things just to make things easier. Just to make it easier to navigate around them. Right, okay, so we've got all the clips cut up now. Okay, um, as I said before, you can only do this in Final Cut Pro 7, so if you've got any earlier versions or Final Cut Express, don't even bother watching. Okay, so. Uh, for the ramp slow-mo to really like sound its best, you want to find where just before it pops, so about there. Cut it, and then end it about there. So you have, so you have noise. Okay. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to do it the way I like. Okay, it's very simple. Apple J goes opens your speed. You simply put in the speed you want. Let's just say 30. Just to give it a bit more of an effect. And you just click this and this, it automatically does the smoothing, and you're done. Okay, it's ramp slow mode, but without the audio slow mode. I'll show you in a minute. Let's just, let's just write the video here. As I said before, I don't like the ramp slow mode noise. I find it really um, annoying, so I really like this effect. Yeah, you can see it ramps there. Um, now, if you want the audio to be ramped, what you have to do is you have to do exactly the same, except I'll use this clip. Uh, we don't really need that. I'll use this clip as an example. So let's cut there and cut there. Apple J. Let's make it thirty percent again. Smooth in and smooth out. Okay. There's no, there's not much point in rendering now. Okay, now this is the main thing to get your audio um, ramp slow mode. Go into your effects tab. Uh, go onto audio filters. Apple. A U pitch. Drag that in. Okay. So for you, mine's already been uh, set up how I like it. So you won't have. You won't have any of these. You won't, you won't have any of these. Okay, so when you first use it, you'll just have this. What you want to do is insert a keyframe here in the middle and on the end. Bear in mind, this is only on the. T you only have to do the top. What you want to do is drag this one down a tiny bit. Now, if it's at, if it's at um. 30% you can just easily drag both of these up right to the top and you'll have your ramped audio effect so let's render that and put it yeah it doesn't sound amazing because of the example I'm using but so that's ramped without the audio and that's with the audio Obviously, I think it's a bit too high here, so let's drag that down. Drag that down. Render. Much better. Now, that is basically a ramp slow-mo in Final Cut Pro 7. Very simple, very easy. D takes as long as doing it in After Effects, and personally, I think it's better. Because in After Effects, you have to have the audio ramped, and as I've said before, I hate the ramped audio noise. Absolutely hate it. So it's always nice to have that. Right now, onto the more advanced part. 
So let's take this clip again. So let's go into the clip 4. Let's put it there. Let's just get the cape from nose ground because it has a flip. Cut that. And what we want to do here is uh, double click it just to get it open. Go into motion and then Apple J let's do 40 this time. Smoothing. Oh no crap. Sorry I forgot to cut it where it flips. Okay, so let's just do that. Apple J, 40, smooth, smooth. Okay. Now, you'll have this bit to render, so render it, very easy. And now double click it. You'll have this. You can see it's kind of curved. Now, to get your desired ramp slow mo effects, you can just drag these in and out. If you do that, it, the clip will reverse. If you do that, the clip will just not ramp slow mo. So you want to keep it kind of how it was. So around there looks good. Let's do this. As you can see, I think that's looking better as it is. You can you can even drag these in so they're pretty much touching each other, but then you won't really get the ramp slow mo effects. It's kind of fiddly because you can you only have to move them a tiny bit for it to have an effect. Yeah, as you can see, nice ramp slow mo effects. And obviously you can go into effects, audio. Mine's already um mine's already like that. Because I set it as that just so I can uh put the audio in quickly and drag these up up render. See so we've got no audio, just the video, which I much prefer audio and video. Now we have adjusted video and audio. So yeah, you can tell this is probably the one you're looking for. Yeah, you can tell there's a difference and you can tell it's much better than cutting the clips individually. And that's pretty much all you have to do. It's very simple, Final Cut made it extremely easy, but I personally think with a higher frame rate camera unlike mine, having like to go in make it go in like really fast into the slow-mo and then come out really fast I think it looks really nice it's like sure right I really like it but yeah that is how you ramp slow-mo in Final Cut Pro 7 thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoy it Bear in mind, once again, you have to have Final Cut Pro 7, you can't have any lower version, and you can't have Final Cut Express. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later.